This is the Great Tate Channel. The Great Tate in real life. What's up, everybody? This here is the Great Tate. I'm chilling here at home for a minute. For a minute. Um, see, uh, during the recording of this day, I think it was this particular day. Um, I did something. Uh, actually, I've, I believe I graduated from, I graduated from, uh, from training. Um, I was on the road, um, you know, being trained up to be a bus driver. And whatnot, you know what I mean? Get behind the wheel and stuff. Get the feel for the bus and everything. And, uh... During the midst of it all, um... You know, I was elated. I was happy because, you know, finally I got a job that will pay the bills. I was, I got the job that, you know, that will help me along the way, especially with, um... My son being born uh, in the beginning of the year, uh, you know, and I was just, I was elated. I was happy. I was excited. But I think it was around this day last year when I got the news that um, that shocked me to my core. And that was the fact that I was diagnosed with diabetes. So, you know, after speaking with uh, one of the supervisors, and you know, I told him what the deal was that I was um, that I was uh, cons uh, consider all things. I was going to go out there and I was going to see what is wrong with me and why, you know, certain embarrassing incidences that have happened, including a change of sight. Uh, even though I already wear glasses, you know, change everything. Like, what was wrong with me? And I, and I was, I was wondering to myself, like, man, don't tell me it is what I think it is. You know, I heard about the symptoms and stuff, and I was like, oh, please don't tell me I got that. Um, I was tested months beforehand. And they said I was pre-diabetic, and you know, they said you just got to cut off this, that, and the third. And I was trying, though. I was trying. But unfortunately, you know, I wasn't doing my part completely. And that's on me. The on, I believe that it became apparent that this was going to be a problem six days after my uh, 36th birthday. About almost a week after my birthday, I'm just excited and happy. I was going to work for for this bus company and everything. I was like, "Yes, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get the benefits. I'm going to get vacation time. I'm going to let. I got to know that on this around this time next year, I'm going to need some time because my son's going to be here. He's going. To be, my son is going. Is going to be here. He's going to be bored. I'm going to be happy and. And I'm going to be able to pay off this, that, the third. I ain't never have to worry about no issues. That, you know, I won't have to worry about this, that, and the third ever again. But instead, sorry, folks, I got a little bit of a cold. Um, but instead, I was met with bad news. I was met with uh, some bad news. As weeks go on, I thought that maybe. I was like, I don't know why my body's acting the way it's acting. I noticed I was losing weight constantly. I was like, what is going on here? I mean, I haven't been working out or anything, but I'm losing a lot of weight. So the day I finally went to the doctors after, you know, I had a bit of an incident while I was at the park with my wife and kids, it was like, well, it might be diabetic. I was like, no, wait a minute. I can't be. I can't. You know? So to find out, I went from um, when they last weighed me in. I last time I was weighed in, I was at two sixty. I was close to two sixty five. I went from two sixty five back in 
July down to 218 at around uh, early September. So, pardon me for a second, y'all. So, um, I have a bit of a loogie. I gotta get rid of. So, um, I was confused at what was going on. I had to run to wrestling on a consistent basis. A lot of things have happened, which was highly embarrassing. Um, Trust me, it was very embarrassing. Um, when I finally went in for uh, for a proper doctor's appointment on the day after, on the day of my graduation, I went in. They did blood work, and then a little bit later it said, it's official, you have diabetes, and you was on the verge of dying from DKA, um, or I forgot what it's called, it was, I forgot what it's called, it's, uh, I think it's DKA, uh, basically what happens is that your blood turns acidic, and then next thing you know, it attacks itself, and start breaking down, because too much sugar within the blood. And, um, that's no joke. Um, one of my friends, uh, one of my friends, uh, one of my fellow brothers from the church, he went through a similar episode, except his was much more dire. They said mine would have been at that particular level, uh, if I didn't came in much sooner. They said if I would wait for two more weeks, I would have been dead. That's how dangerous that was with, uh, with, uh. The with the acid ketoacidosis, whatever they call it, ketoacidosis or something like that. Uh, diabetic kilo. Uh, sorry for butchering that, but you know what I'm saying. If you if you know a thing or two about you know how the body works and whatnot, and if you're diabetic, you definitely know what I mean. Or those I know someone who is. So. um I broke the news to uh, management uh, the next day I work, and they said to me that I cannot go further unless I can't continue with the job unless um, I get this resolved. And I was hoping I just had to take a pill and that's it, but instead, I have to take insulin shots. And they said, well, if you're taking insulin shots, then you cannot continue on as a bus operator. And uh, that really broke my heart. It really did. Um, one minute I was happy and everything. Y'all see the video and everything. I wrote it down. I was like, it's going to happen. It's going to work out. And instead... After it took about a year's time for me to reach that goal, I lost. Sorry for the noise in the background. You know, kids are out here having fun and everything. I'm thankful that it hasn't rained or anything because, you know, my kids, they're, they had a park somewhere with my, with my wife and my in laws. They, they're out there having some fun. But, um, yeah, it, it really broke my heart. You know, because I really needed that job because, you know, I, I was having my third child on the way. Um, my wife and I, we was going through a whole lot trying to get things going the right direction and everything. Uh, this YouTube channel thing ain't even going anywhere, to be quite honest. That I blame myself for starters. And you know, on top of that, you know, um, I also was dealing with other health issues as well. So it was like, you know, I, I was just getting hit up left and right. So, um I took the time out to do research about this. 
and I'm going to find a way to go ahead and beat this without, you know, find myself in a situation where either I lose my life or I lose a limb. <laughs> and it was like, I, I can't lose a limb, not here, not now. I don't want to die early. I'm too young to die. You know, I mean, I don't want I don't want to get no um, no stroke at the age of 50 or the age of 40 or heck before I even hit 40. I don't want none of those things. I want to be able to live a long life. My grandmother, God bless her soul. She lived almost 95 years on this earth before she passed uh, recently. I would like to have that kind of life. You know what I mean? Where I can live that long and everything. Be able to gain the wisdom and the knowledge to pass on to others and everything. You know? But there's this thing that's blocking me. And that's uh, diabetes. So I was, I was telling them about the shot that I have to take. Um, this particular medicine was supposed to last for 24 hours. And I took that thing religiously. 24 hours. Every day. I only miss at least... There's been a few instances where I missed that particular day, but I make sure I took my shots. You know what I'm saying? Um, they say they will let me back on only if I'm taking the pill. But unfortunately, because the fact that uh, my blood sugar level was dangerous, it was like 400, 500. They want me to attack this thing aggressively, and I did. I attacked aggressively, and I went from just being 400, 500 average down to like about like between um, 99, 98, 99, all the way up to about 120. Only a few times it spiked up to like 150. I kept it within the healthy range for a long period of time. And within those three months, my health improved greatly. I was getting back some of my muscle mass that I've lost. I was feeling much better. I was I felt more relaxed and everything. Um, but in the end, they had to let me go because it was either they were going to put me up for something where I, where I got to go in for a trial on this, that, and the third, you know, or, you know, which I'll get let go or I have to resign. And for a second time in my life, I have to, res uh, for a second time in my life, I have to quit a job. Instead of getting a new job, it's well, actually, it's the third time I have to go ahead and uh, leave a two week notice. This time, it was because no matter what the outcome was, I wasn't going to keep the job. It broke my heart. It left me feeling uh, angry, perturbed. Sorry for shaking the phone and everything. It's because I'm holding it with my hands instead of using a tripod. But yeah, I felt bad. I felt terrible. I felt saddened because I couldn't provide for my family. I couldn't. I, I'm look. I know some folks say, "Well, why don't you get you know unemployment and you'll be just fine." I'm like, "Yeah, that's great and all, but I don't feel like going through that. I don't feel like going through that whole rigmarole. I like to earn my money. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just letting you know. Um, if anything at all, um. I had to learn how to bounce back from that. And I did. Uh, God just happened to bless me with the, the job I'm currently working at now. Um, although, I, <laughs> to be honest, I'm thankful. I really am. But I'm also looking outside, looking for other opportunities. I'm hoping that this YouTube thing actually blows up. But, you know, um, I haven't done anything viral yet. So there's that. Um, going forward, doing food reviews and stuff, I'm gonna have to go ahead and start taking out the page out of uh, out of uh, Dave Drops playbook. Um, uh, I'm gonna have to waste money <laughs> by eating just a portion of the food and then just throw it away. That I'll probably let let my wife have the bite or so, so she can try it out. You know what I'm saying? Um. That's what I've been doing throughout most of my food reviews, unless if I actually am very hungry and I really needed something to eat. Um, so there's that. But outside from that, that's that's about it. I'm gonna have to take a page out of that playbook of a 
out of uh, Dave Drop's playbook and simply just eat a little bit, give you my thoughts, and then throw it away. I really don't like to waste food. I'm, I'm brought up with the notion of, you know, waste out whatnot. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you know how that goes. But at the same time, I'm trying to do my very best to keep my weight down, uh, to make sure I take my medicine. I'm probably just taking pills. But, oh gosh, I can't take those horse pills. Those, those pills like this big and then on top of that, I feel like I got to throw up every five seconds. So I'm like, I'm walking around. I feel like I'm about to throw up every time, man. Oh gosh, I hate that feeling. Y'all, if if you know what I go through, if if you know what I go through, then I don't I don't have to say anymore. <laughs> but yes, uh, I do believe there's a way to defeat diabetes. There is a way where I could be no longer diabetic, so to speak, um, where it no longer has a stranglehold. And for those who are still battling it, let me just say this real quick. Uh, just keep fighting, keep fighting, uh, put up a great effort, you know what I mean, hope is one of the best messes to have, hope for a better tomorrow, start today, make the changes, do what you must, do what you gotta do to make it work, uh, when you do that, trust and believe, you're gonna do better, you're gonna feel better, um, work with a diet that, that works for you, as long as, is it full of carbohydrates, you know what I mean? Do your research. Find out what works for you. Uh, my brother probably told me about uh, the, the kettle diet. I thought about it. I was like, yeah, maybe I should go for it. Um, so that's something that I might want to consider. So um, in the meantime and in between time, folks, um, I was glad I got a chance to go put this out there. Uh, this, this has been one of those reasons why I haven't done full reviews on the regular um, because I'm very concerned about my health and I really want to live to see tomorrow, if you know what I'm saying. So, um, you know, cause I got kids, I got, I got babies, I got babies, you know, now I got to think about, it. I got four year old, a two year old and, uh, currently an eight month old and I want to be there for all my kids. So, you know, um, dad lives matter. There you go. <laughs> Uh, I know some folks say, oh, so you with that? I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm just saying as a dad, as a dad, you know, my family needs me. And that's what I'm finna do. So as long as I make that that legal tender, I don't have to worry about being an offender. Enough said. So uh, anyways, folks, this here is the great Tate saying, God bless, love y'all. Take care of yourselves. Please do. Do your best to take care of yourself. If you got to do fast food, do fast food, but don't do it on the regular. Please don't do that on the regular. Take good care of yourselves, folks. Moderation is its key. That's how. And remember, the best medicine to have is hope. Don't let anybody tell you different. All right? I'm up out of here. And now, I fade to black. If you like this content, make sure that you go ahead and like, as well as to share. Most importantly, subscribe, get yourself notified by ringing the bell, and make sure you set it to all, so you can see more new content here.